Karamanov Anatolia, center of civilizations, is an ancient city where its history goes thousands of years back. And many caves and remnants in this city, notably Manazan Cave, tell stories from the ancient history. Many tracks in the town and the excavations at Jan Hassan Hill Town witness at least 8,000 years of history. Strabon, who is seen as the founder of geography, writes in his history book that Derbe is the place of residence of King Antipetros. Only this information is sufficient to show the historical depth of these lands. There resides one of the most important spots of Anatolia, faith tourism and world heritage in Kerti Hill Town, three kilometers away from Ekinözü. The citizens here has welcomed Paulus and Barnabas, who came to Derbe during the early years of Christianity, following the route of Cyprus, Aspendos, Yalwach, Konya and Hatun Sarai, with a great hospitality and tolerance. They have embraced them, listened to their teachings and adopted their beliefs, and the pulse of early Christianity beat here. It is because of this, Derbe became one of the few cities that has been recorded in Bible and has been deemed as the sacred city of Christianity. Turkmen tribes that settled in Anatolia through hundreds of years of migration has caused civilization of Islam to set root in here. The new center of civilization that has been recorded as home for Seljukids in history carves Mevlana, Yunus Emre and several memorials of civilization that are impossible to forsake as they will always be remembered. Invasion and raid of Mongols caused unity and peace in Anatolia to be crumbled. Whole land got divided by many principalities. The principality of Karaman is one of these principalities. They took part in the invasion of Anatolia, got settled to the district of Ermenek by Seljuk administration. The principality that contributed highly to the cultural heritage of Karaman has caused a political, social and cultural effect that has lasted for hundreds of years through what they achieved during the reign of 265 years. Karaman and its district smell of Seljuk and Karamanoğlu more than anything. The remnants of history left by them have integrated to the cells of the city. The spiritual atmosphere of Karaman that have given birth to Mevlana, Yunus Emre and several more historical individuals that make this soil a homeland can be seen clearest on the symbolic coffins and on the inscriptions at Atekke Mosque. There was a process of conflict between Karamanoğulları and Ottomans lasted for long years. Afterwards, the principality of Karamanoğulları joined to Ottomans. Karaman got under the reign of Ottoman in 1500 for good and appointed as a Sanjak connected to Konya. Contrary to its thousands of years of history and its worldwide importance, the identity of the city got almost forgotten and the city has been jogged as a district of Konya into the memories. The town where its fate has remained unchanged during Ottoman era and during the Republic was separated from Konya and announced as a city in 1989 by the law numbered 3578. Ermenek was separated from Konya. Yazım Karabekir and Ayranje that were towns were declared as districts and got connected to Karaman. Then the city grew with Sarıveliler and Başayla districts inclusion. Karaman that has entered a new process of growth shined with its development, especially in the food sector. The city founded its industry on this field, 
Karaman today reaches to the future in the land where Taurus Mountains meet the steps of central Anatolia. The fate of the city has changed completely from 2002 on. Thus, the city entered a process of rapid progression. The most important of these innovations was applied on local administration, which is the direct contact point with public, and their results were started to have seen shortly after. The architecture of this major change in Karaman, without a doubt, is former Minister of Transportation, Navigation and Communication, Lutfi Elvan, who acts in a clear, transparent, sincere manner in his relationships and serve the nation, not individuals. His experience at the state planning organization in the field of regional development, his consistency in politics and his ministry at the executive authority enabled him to transfer this to his aim of developing Karama. Brand City's approach emerged as an innovation to urbanization concept together with transformation started in 2002. Brand City's approach is sign of the city is an economic, social and cultural entity understanding. According to this understanding, plans and policies about the cities are designed with consideration to a city's history, cultural heritage and strategic position in the country. Karaman that long deserved to be a brand city considering its past and future vision has shaken the dust of the years over its shoulders as it progresses considerably. A first is happening for Turkey today in Karaman, the smart city, a system that ends coincidences in the all areas that interest the public is being established from dumpster to traffic lights, from bus stops to street lights. Technology only is of course not enough to make a city a city. Because cities do have a soul and the soul is deeper and more active than technology. Soul of the city reflects to its countenance. The innovations that change the countenance of the city are applied with consideration to the principle of yesterday and today history and past being renewed accordingly. One of the most outstanding examples of this is the reforming of Karaman Town Square. This square, constructed in 1370, that called as Atteke Mosque Square, is on the one hand is a place for people of Karaman and the city itself can breathe, on the other hand it is the prevention of history being lost in concrete jungle. It's being acted taking public interest and identity of the city into consideration in the matters of reconstruction and residence. It's being found more accurate to steer for new areas instead of struggling with old settlements that would cause reconstruction and reclamation problems. This principle was adopted as Toki residence projects enabled thousands of families to own a house. Settlements were built outside of the city's rural areas. The Piriveis Valley project, which takes its name from the outstanding geographer, fellow Karaman citizen Piriveis, is one of the steps taken to make Karaman a point of attraction. 1,728 residences will be constructed, including shopping mall, restaurant and parking garage, as the aim of this project which would set an example for Turkey. Karaman seems like a building site, together with its all districts. There are rising Toki residences on one hand, and on the other there is on the hand urban restoration mission. Pavements, medians, shortly everywhere in Karaman resemble a worksite. 
Karaman is a city that alternative means like solar energy are tried to be utilized. It's a city that agricultural fields are being protected. The developing Karaman is one of the few peaceful cities has a surplus of employment thanks to its infrastructure, its supply of housing and its field of industry. Infrastructure problems in Karaman is almost completely solved thanks to the works progressed with rapid pace. Historical importance of Karaman is connected to its position being a transition point between Mediterranean and central Anatolia. Roads are the air tubes of a city. Highway that connect Karaman to the world was constructed and Karaman no longer is a blind spot. High-speed train and airport projects got started by saying these are not enough for the city as operations have launched. The guidance of the former Minister of Transportation, Navigation and Communication, Lutfi Elvan, who worked with a vision to construct a global city, is the greatest assistance. The investments and services that focused on healthcare field changed the long-lasting mentality. New community clinics were opened in the city together with the family practice. Hospitals and district got renewed and new ones were built. State hospital with capacity of 400 at the city center is the most important investment in the healthcare fields. It was equipped with the latest technology. The agriculture is the reason why humans exist here. At the Iranji Road, granaries who knows when it was constructed bring thousands of years of great effort to the plentitude that erupts from the land today. Karaman today, due to its rapidly growing food sector, is the rising star of Turkey and the Middle East. Parks and gardens are the common pulse of a city. 200,000 meter squares of green areas were deployed from 1989, which Karaman was declared a city until 2014. In the last two years, this number grows and multiplies to 1,300,000 square meters. There are already 15,000, 30,000 and 50,000 square meters of green areas, social facilities being constructed. City Hall functions in a highly active manner due to the support of an ambitious minister. Karaman is aiming to be a peaceful city and is on the track of the same. The peace in the city is accepted as a life practice, not a matter of security. Peace is a state that people are able to live healthily, aware of the past as they can predict the future while having places to rest and have fun, unconcerned of employment and food. Investments in Karaman are being done in order to realize that and ensuring everybody is enjoying it. The most important point that distinguishes Karaman from the rest is that Karaman is a culture trove. Karaman owns this partly to its ancient history, partly to its geographic position, being a transition point between Mediterranean and central Anatolia, also partly to its people. Apart from its importance to Christianity, Karaman also gifted a new language called Karamanian to the literature of linguistics. In fact, Karaman has another feature with utmost importance apart from being home to Karamanian. 
This city is the capital of Turkish language and it is the town of banner bearer of Turkish Yunus Emre and also his guardian Karamanoğlu Mehmet Bey. In May 13, 1277, Karamanoğlu Mehmet Bey declared Turkish the official language of the state with the words there shall not be spoken any other language other than Turkish in the council, in the Dervish Lodge, in the parliament and in the square. This immemorial date is being celebrated as language feast every year in the city. The educational infrastructure of Karaman is almost totally completed with the latest equipment. Some of the secondary education facilities are planned as campus. Karaman has experienced an increase in university rate as the whole country has experienced after 2002. University of Karamanoğlu Mehmet Bey is the biggest leap in this field for sure. The university that its facilities are highly located at the city center and Kazım Karabekir has brought a fresh air to the city's cultural climate. The number of students our university has is increasing with a rapid pace every year. The journey started with 3,000 students in 2007 continues with 12,000 students in 2016. Karaman is one of the cities that could not achieve the results in sports contrary to its potential. Another field that our minister Lutvi Erwan has changed with his vision is the sport activity in the city. The countenance of the sport is changing in Karaman thanks to the district fields and sport facilities. Now, the maintaining and planning of the constructed sport facilities are left to public. This is a major change in understanding of sports. The reflection of the changes that is happening in Karaman is total development in the district. Today, Karaman functions like a hive of bees with all of its cells to the farthest point and it carries hope to the future of the country. Ermenek should not be viewed from this point as it seems like an ant compared to enormous mountains. Ermenek is partially Karaman and Karaman is partially Ermenek. Their histories and cultures live together as they feed each other. The question when people settled in here is unknown, yet the reason for that is the safety that those enormous mountains provide as well as the bread these fertile soil offers. While the history is rising thanks to the restorations, the pace that the latest technology provides prepares the people of Ermenek that fills the Lutvi Elvan town square in a fresh Ramadan night to the future. Forgetfulness of long years is being got rid of in Ermenek. It opens its doors to our people, from education to health, from nature tourism to culture history, to sport, to entertainment and to rest. As the road constructions continue that saves the city from the congestion between the mountains, the project Ermenek 1001 connects Ermenek that is already a world heritage with its history, nature and vision for the future to the globe. Ermenek provides home to a heritage that is being upgraded with the accumulation of history. It resembles a thinking memory. The harmony of lake, mountain and valley fit in today like a portrait. Cazım Karabekir is the homeland of one of the generals of Turkish War of Independence and one of the founders of the Republic, Cazım Karabekir. The district that its history goes back to the era of Hittites carries the tracks of the Roman era, Byzantium era, Seljukid era and Principalities era. This pretty district also experienced the forgetfulness that 
Karaman experienced, on the contrary to its vast riches, its fate dependent on only to the agriculture. One of the campuses of University of Karamanoğlu Mehmet Bey was constructed here. Also, education and healthcare facilities got renewed. Kazım Karabekir, where its economy is highly dependent on agriculture and husbandry, is on the course of being a food production center. Ayrancı, where its history goes back until the Hittites got under the rule of Frigs and the kingdom of Tuvana years after. Ayrancı that was ruled by Alexander the Great, the Rome, Byzantium, Seljuks, Karamanoğulları and Ottomans gifted the peeled cheese of Obruk Divle to the world. Ayrancı is one of the most arid places in Turkey. Its economy is based on agriculture and husbandry. Divle is a village of the district Ayrancı and the goats graze on its mountains. There is a pothole that is 256 meters in length, 36 meters in depth and the temperature is 4 degrees in summer and in winter. The people who went down in this pothole will be welcomed by one of the five highest quality of cheese on earth. Başyayla also, like the other settlements in the region, has thousands of years of history, a breathtaking nature and fertile land. The region where its history cannot be exposed clearly since not enough researches have been concluded here shows the tracks of the Roman, Byzantium, Karamanoğulları and Ottomans. The district that has an important potential in history and nature tourism with its structures resembles fairy chimneys. Natural and artificial caves has progressed quite a way to make use of this potential. At the south side of the central Taurus Mountains, in the Tasheli Plateau, although there is no precise information about the first foundation of the district, as a result of the research conducted on Cave Town in Göktepe and Urlu, it is predicted that the district was settled in about 2000 BC. Strabon of Amasya mentions about the region as the closest country to Cappadocia in his great book Geography. Cappadocia, land of the beautiful horses. The horses that run wildly in the Karada, Madenshehir ruin, are like a heritage of the history. But the history did not only left wild horses left in here. Karaman is a city that can offer something special and beautiful to whom looking for. In the city where its name is written in Bible, the breath of Mevlana and the voice of Yunus Emre travel. The echo of the chants that is rising from thousand churches in Derbe can be heard from Manazan and Injesu caves in Tashkale. Karaman Castle answers the voice that comes from Selçukids from Karamanoğlu. Mountains and plateau, potholes and caves with their doors open for those who had enough of history. The wild horses, the wild sheep, the canyons, peaks and cliffs that dazzles wait for their passengers in Ermenek, in Sarıveliler, in Ayrancı, in Kazım Karabekir, in Başyaylan.